In today's video, we're going to be checking out Roblox games that have zero players. So let's see what kind of weird stuff we can find in this video, and let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are on Roblox. Let's go to the Discover page and find some games that have no players. I was checking it out a little bit before, so I kind of got one in mind. It's actually called Solar System Adventure. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of this game. But before it had one player and it looks like it still does so this might be the perfect one to go check out and it was created by top games and it looks like they have a pretty professional like description and everything here do they have free vips they do not but uh, have any of you guys ever heard of this one before i have actually not but it does have 2.6 million visits so that's pretty good honestly if i made a game that had 2.6 million visits i'd be pretty happy but kind of sucks that their game died let's go figure out why it died let's see if it's actually good see if it's bad who knows what we're in for in this one, guys? We're going to be probably checking out some weird, random stuff today. We'll definitely, like, check out these ones that were popular at one point. And, of course, we're going to check out some, like, fan-made games that also have, like, zero players. But here we are on the starting screen. It looks pretty nice so far. Like, nothing to complain about. Let's click start and let's see what happens here. So here we are, guys. The only other player in the world is this dude right here. And it looks like he's AFK. Now, I'm not going to lie, by the title of the game, like Solar System Adventure, I thought we were going to be out in space. But maybe once we walk down here into this tunnel, we'll just get shot into space or something random. This uh, like starting area right here seems pretty okay. This looks like a little jump pad from Fortnite, does it not? But it looks like it wants us to go in this green circle, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. We got a scientist here. You know what we should probably do, guys, before he starts talking? Let's put on some sound. And if in case there is volume in this game, we could actually hear it. So here we go. We just got some uh, random text, and let's see what happens. The planets in the solar system have aligned so that it's possible to reach them all with a single rocket. Okay, so we are going to space. Kind of figured, because that's what the uh, title of the game is. You know, explore the solar system. So that would only make sense. And let's go check it out. Let's see here if, you know, how much more dialogue we got to do. Oh, this thing actually opens up. It's a rocket launch pad. All right, well... That's what that is. It's not uh, the Fortnite launch pad. That's where we're going to be taking the rocket from. So here we go. And let's just try to click through this. No way, guys. We got someone else in this game right now. No shot. Another dude actually joined. So there's three of us now in the entire world playing Solar System Adventure. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead, though, and jump into this rocket and see what happens. Here we go. All right. So we are on a Solar System map. So we obviously have Earth. Oh. It didn't let us choose anything. It kind of just shoots you out there on its own. So, here we go. Fact. As the moon has no atmosphere, it is constantly bombarded with meteorites. Okay, so are we going to the moon first? Or this is technically... Oh, we got a little obby here. We got to not fall off. Okay. Interesting. I wasn't actually expecting anything like this. So, now we got to do some parkour, guys. And obviously, LT can't do any parkour. He absolutely sucks. So, we got to figure this out. Haven't played uh, TOH in a long time. How about you guys? That used to be a very, very good game back in the day. I'm actually probably, it probably still is, right? But maybe not. Who knows? It probably has a lot of players. Fact, there is an ice that can be found on the north and south poles. I think it's set of the moon. So it's pretty cool, actually. Oh, more obbies. So this is actually a pretty cool game. Yeah, there's obbies and it just gives you facts. This is like probably something that like, if you were a teacher in school, this is something that you could probably use to teach like, you know, this kind of science. So pretty cool stuff here so you know you get your like students to hop on this game and try to complete these little tasks or even you as the teacher could complete them and you know maybe you could have something you know fun for your kids in the in this classroom and you know they would be learning some stuff as well so i'm not sure what this one is it says hot so oh, that's not good don't want to click that what do you got to do here oh there we go i guess you have to jump on that purple button and then you're uh, good we got an artifact here the moon surface is full of craters making its terrain very hard to traverse Okay, okay. Guys, did we land on the moon? What do you think? I don't know. Some uh, pretty convincing stuff that we didn't, but who knows? Who knows, right? There we go, though. Looks like we learned all the facts about the moon, and we're going to hop in the rocket ship and see where it takes us next. So, looks like we got a photo of the moon, and I'm pretty sure that scientist in the beginning of the uh, game there, he wanted that. So, of course, we'll get that to him in a little bit. So, now we are actually on the moon. Okay, this is pretty cool. Where's the uh, American flag here? We gotta find the American flag, I'm sure. Or what do we do now? Do we just run around and kind of see what happens? Or do we have to, like, take a photo? No, we already got the photo, so that's good. Let's see, what what's in the uh, store? This little, like, thing here. So speed coil, gravity coil. We don't want to pay any Robux. 
You guys know we're a free-to-play player. We don't do that around here. How about this thing? So we got to map the solar system. So that's uh, the places we could go, you know, fly to and whatnot. Wow, guys, this is a pretty small moon, though. Look at, the, look at how, like, close the edge is right there. It'd be pretty cool if you could actually, like, explore pretty far and, you know, they had, like, some, like, the sites and stuff. Obviously, that's probably really difficult to do. But, hey, you never know. I'm sure that uh, some creators out there can make some pretty cool stuff. But I will say the graphics, although there's really nothing in the game, like, the moon surface looks pretty good. The uh, rocket ship is kind of basic, but the moon does look pretty decent. Let's just hop back in and see where it takes us now. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's see here. Pretty cool, though, guys. Pretty cool so far. And now we're going to go to Mercury. Okay. We'll check this one out, guys. And then we'll head on to another game. All right. What do you say here? So let's see. What do we got here? We'll get some uh, cool Mercury facts. When facing the sun, the surface of Mercury can reach 400 Celsius. That's pretty crazy. All right. Let's jump on these rocks. Hopefully, we don't die. And then we'll uh, get the next fact here. It's extreme daytime temperature allows lava to flow on its surface. Okay. Pretty interesting. Now we got to do this one and then uh, maybe get another factor two and then we can explore the surface and of course then we'll go on to the next game. It has no atmosphere. This means that the temperature changes drastically depending on whether it's facing the sun or not. So basically if it's facing the sun, it's really hot. If it's not, you're probably going to freeze to death. So not a place you're going to want to live. That's for sure. Similar to the moon, Mercury's surface is littered with craters. That's interesting, interesting. All right, let's go here and hop in the rocket ship and go check out the surface, and then we'll move on to the next game, of course, which I don't know what it's going to be. We're just going to look for some random stuff and hopefully find something pretty cool. Now, this looks like the moon surface. I don't know why it took us back here, but hey, guys, that's going to be it for this game. Let's check out the next one. Before we get to the next game, guys, we should probably give this one a ranking. Let's say like 0 out of 10 for all these games in this video today. Let's give this one about like a 6, I would say. You know, graphics, they're, they're okay. They're pretty basic. The concept of the game is good, but however, like from a fun aspect, it's not that fun. It's just kind of like... You know, it's more of like a teaching game and a learning game. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is going to be perfect for you. And I like that how, you know, it can be probably used as like a classroom kind of tool. That's pretty cool because if you're a teacher, you know, you know, it's probably hard to connect with kids these days. And a video game is probably one way that they might actually listen to you. So, hey, if you're teaching anything about space, this might be good for you and you get your class involved and it could be a great time. Or if you're just a kid trying to learn some random facts about space, you can do it in a fun way because you can hop on here. You know, you can do some parkour. Once you, you know, beat the levels, you get to learn some cool stuff. So, hey, it's a, it's a decent game. Now, let's move on to the next one. I have no idea what it is going to be. So, let's go ahead and search together here. So, there's a lot of stuff we could choose from. I actually have no idea, like, what games actually have zero. I'm sure if we just type in some random words in like the you know like the search machine like engine thing we'll just get some random stuff i'm gonna see if there's anything on like the front page though because that would be pretty cool if we found some like front page games because this happens like the the front page on roblox right now is completely broken and for those of you guys who know who i am i used to do a lot of pet sim stuff like you guys could probably tell like they just like completely like ripped pet sim off the front page for some weird reason it just doesn't ever like end up there anymore i don't know why but that's why a lot of new players probably stopped finding the game. Look, you got like the first OG pet sim. It only has 300 players. But we want to find something with a little bit less than that. And I think that will be perfect for us. So, spawn ducks in the Wild West until your game. Okay, this sounds pretty interesting. Now, what in the world is this going to be about? So, there's free VIPs though. That That's always a good, good sign, guys. I, I love when a developer does that. Oh my god, this game actually has 1.5 million visits. I was not expecting that, were you guys? I thought this was going to have, like, like nobody. But hey, hey, good for this developer. They actually, they did quite well for themselves. So, 87% like this game, too. That's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and check it out. We'll just go into a random server and see how the other 55 people are uh, playing this. What in the world is this game, guys? So, they weren't kidding. You spawn ducks in. 34% on the way to crashing the game. So, is that the whole point? You're supposed to crash the game? So, let's see here. What do you actually do? Like, do you, like, place the ducks? Let's see here. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm stuck, like, in all the ducks here. This is not good. All right. So, yeah. Basically, you just keep clicking, and you place ducks. Ducks spawn right now. There's 87,405. Red deadly ducks are here. It says to hide. 
All right, let's go find a hiding spot. I have no idea where. If we could get up these stairs, maybe like in here, we could get into this house. This is ridiculous, guys. Look at this. There's 87,000 of these ducks right now. Here's one of the guys in the game. Who is this? Is this? I thought at first it said Tanker. Could you imagine if Tanker was playing this game? That'd be kind of funny. But uh, this guy's name's TN. We got uh, HD, Anastasia, I think that's how you say that, or something like that, and Gustav. So pretty cool. We got some Robux ducks. You could buy big ducks. You could buy rainbow ducks, balloons, and some speed coils. Okay. So some pretty classic stuff right there. And then I guess that's the big duck. And let's see, we got a train over here. So we are in the Wild West. This is kind of like Red Dead Redemption. Like one of those old towns. And, you know, we got that. So unlocks at 300 ducks. So I'm not really sure. I guess like, like once you place more, like certain areas start to unlock. So very, very weird game. You know, in all honesty, I don't know who would really play this. But... Hey, it, they got 1.5 million visits, so good for them. But this is a very strange game. This is kind of the stuff you find when you just go looking for games with very low players. Am I right? Like, what in the world is this? Who even comes up with an idea like this? Am I right? All right, so what does this say? Make it rain. Stop the bad red ducks from falling down next time and have the Wild West be rained on with good yellow ducks, big or small. It'll rain across the server for one whole minute. So I think someone actually, like, when, when those red ducks started to spawn, which we didn't even see any... But basically, if they hit you, I guess you die. And it only lasted a minute. So that's how you do that. We got some more towns on over here. I don't know if I could go there. I think I am the one. Yeah, so I have to place 2,000 ducks. So that's how it works. Right now, if you guys can see the top right up here, I've only placed 100. So this would take forever. I don't even know how many like like people must have been on the server. There must have been so many people. But I guess the point of the game is to just crash the server. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this alone, and or at least with other, like, four other people. I would need to have, like, a full lobby, I think. Or otherwise, I think it would be pretty impossible. But we're not going to buy that. Sorry, you're not getting my Robux. But pretty interesting game. I'm only going to give this one probably, like, a 3 out of 10, though. It doesn't really interest me, but it's kind of funny and just super, super random. And I will say, the world, hey, it looks okay. Look at this. They have a little advertisement right here. A Fruit Loops world advertisement. That, that's so random to have in the middle of the Wild West town. Who would have ever thought of that, right? Let's go ahead and walk through there. Let's see what happens. I'm very, very curious now. This looks like a portal, doesn't it? Yes, it is. Why? It's probably going to take me to some kind of Fruit Loops thing. Let's see here. Oh, it's a different game. Okay, perfect. I'm sure that this is probably got low players too. So Fruit Loops World. 30 minutes fly by when you're having fun. Take a break and stretch your wings. So here we go. Let's just make it clear, guys. That last game, we'll rate that 3 out of 10, all right? 3 out of 10. It was okay, looked good, probably wouldn't play it ever again, very low replayability. It's just uh, something that you kind of have a laugh at just seeing how weird some games are on Roblox, right? But uh, let's go ahead and check out what Fruit Loops World is. So, obviously guys, this is the cereal, it says press F to pour your cereal. Let's go ahead and do this, and uh, try it out. Alright, so we got uh, the bird flying in here through the wall, it's kind of weird. He said, oh my, so you're not seeing any Fruit Loops in your bowl either, okay. Very, okay, let's just click through this. We don't care about dialogue, do we? No way. All right, here we go. Press F to follow the guy through the portal. We're going to follow him to the portal and see what happens. I don't know how I ended up here, guys. This is very weird. It says that this is an ad. So this is like a straight up a Fruit Loops ad. Oh, there's actually a lot of people playing this. I never would have thought. How many people are in this game, guys? Return. Honestly, I don't even know what's going on right now. This could be like still part of the last game. And I really don't know. It must be a game, though. I'll look it up after. Fruit Loops World. So, what do you do? There's a shop. As you navigate... Let's see. Don't forget your Explorer's hat. They just want you to buy these. It costs Fruit Loops, so... I don't know how to get Fruit Loops. What, is this some sort of, like, simulator game? Or, uh, or no. I'm joining some sort of biome right now, so... I literally have no idea. This is so weird. I don't know how I ended up here, guys. This is what happens when you go down the Roblox rabbit hole, am I right? So now there's just fruity, like, loops on the ground here. So we'll grab those. And uh, I almost called them fruity pebbles at first, but fruit loops. They're on the ground. Let's try to pick some up and see what could happen here. I don't know. This is probably another one of those games where I probably would never play. I am just shocked to see how many people are actually playing the game. This is crazy. 
This is absolutely incredible. Like, we, we just joined that random server and there was like 30 people there at least sitting in the circle, right? That's crazy. But I feel like it's taking too long to like jump into the game. Especially now with kids with low attention spans. It's, uh, I feel like I would have just quit already. But I want to check it out, see, at least give it a shot and see what's going on. It is an ad. Now it's kind of making me want Fruit Loops. How about you guys? All right, though, here we are. We got like a train here. We got some magnets. We got some shoes that maybe make us jump higher. I have no idea. Probably should have read the thing. But let's see. Do we have to like click the ground? Oh, we, we got a boost. So not sure what the boost does. We clicked one of these things that are like shiny right here in the ground. And it gave us a boost. Obby number one. Here we go. Let's test our uh, obby skills again. I need redemption for that last one, right? Sorry, Sam. I do not want to talk to you. We're going to hop on this cart and just kind of see what happens. So, oh, okay. So, you got to go like this and just basically collect these. It's uh, not that hard. Let's put it that way. The target audience for this one might have been... Who even knows, guys? A five-year-old? I don't know. I don't know. Unless it's actually made by, like, the, the makers of Fruit Loops. But I doubt that. Just be really, really weird. Super, super strange. I don't it just amazes me how I even got to this like th this is why I did this video guys because there's just some weird stuff on this uh, platform Roblox some very very strange stuff and uh, this game not for me not for me I don't know about you guys maybe a little bit different you guys might love it no not judging you if you love Fruit Loops you might love the game personally I'm not a big breakfast person I never eat it and I don't eat Fruit Loops so not for me, but it's interesting how we got here, and I'm glad we checked it out. I'm gonna give it, like, uh, probably, like, a 5 out of 10, just because, like, it seems like there's a lot of work put into this game. Like, this, this might have taken someone a very, very long time, and it's, it's, it works. That's what I like to see, a game that actually works. It's just not very fun for someone like me who doesn't really care about this kind of stuff. So, sure it has its audience, it's just not for me. Let me know what you guys think of this one, or if you've ever even seen this before. I sure haven't, but uh, once again, we'll lock in a 5 out of 10 for this one. Alright, let's move on to the next game. And guys, real quick before we move on to the next one, I actually looked it up, and it's got 71 players. So, it's a pretty dead game, it's almost zero, but it does have a little bit more than the duck one, so pretty cool. It's, I wonder if it's like actually like a real life ad for the game, like if Fruit Loops actually made it. I have no clue. But uh, pretty interesting. But once again, five. Now, for this next one, let's look up a sport game, okay? I'm going to type in my favorite sport up into the search command up here. We're going to look up hockey experiences, okay? Hockey is definitely my favorite sport. If you guys have a favorite sport, let me know in the comments. I'm just curious. If you guys like hockey, what's your favorite team? If you like a different sport, let me know what you like, all right? But hockey's my favorite. Let's see if there's any really interesting hockey games on here. We'll look up a hockey game that has, like, zero players. So right here. Hockey Mayhem. All right, let's check this one out. And it says NHL Ice Skate. So they're getting all the tags. It's got 191,000 visits. That's quite a bit. And it's also got 7,000 favorites. So a lot of people checked it out before. That's pretty cool, guys. So obviously, if there's no one else to play with, it's not going to work. But if there's like AI, then I'm sure we could at least have some sort of fun on here. And at least check it out and see what's going on. Get me out of that fruity uh, loop server, whatever that was. And let's move on to the next thing here. So here we are. We are getting into a server. I spawned in the stands. So now I'm just out here attacking fans with a club. It must have been a big fight. Not sure what's going on. Get me out to the ice coach. There we go. We just jumped over the class. And uh, here we go. The puck is just floating in the middle of the air. So that's pretty interesting. The music's going pretty hard right now. Interesting. But uh, we can't get the puck the puck's not supposed to be floating up in the air so i don't know what's going on about that pushes so let's see i'm gonna buy one push 25 robux guys i'm guessing a push if you guys don't know hockey too well you kind of like hit each other into the boards and stuff in the middle of the ice just like run up to them and just cross check and stuff and I'm guessing that's what that means. Now let's change our skate color. Can we do that for free? Oh no. No wonder why this game has zero players, guys. It's all pay to win stuff. Look at this. Custom goal sound. How much does that cost? 102? Jeez, guys. This game is just, uh, you know, absolutely trying to take all your money, of course. Classic. 
But here we go. The puck. I'm still not having anything to do. Let's see if we can run up to this goalie and hit him with the stick or something funny here. No, we can move him around, though. Let's see if we can move him out of the net. This is definitely not like NHL, guys. I think that this game is just unfinished. I feel like the, the dev just never finished it because, like, straight up. Here, we're going to take this guy right into the board. Then maybe we can take him out. Ready? Boom. Break the glass. Only if you could do that. That'd be pretty cool. But, like, straight up, you can't even hit the puck, guys. So this game is pretty bad. Unless it's just... Oh, guys, wait, hold up. Maybe we're waiting for a player to join us. Maybe if I could get some of my subs into this server, then it might actually start. Give me one second, guys, and I'm going to go message everyone in the Discord server, and maybe some of you guys watching this video later might actually end up in the game with me. So that'll be pretty fun. Give me one second. I'll see you guys in the future. All right, guys, so we got our first person in the server. It's about to start in three seconds. It's uh, Nat Leaf, so welcome to the game. Here we go. It's going to be a 1v1. I don't know how this is going to go, man, but uh, hey, good luck. So here we go. We got the puck on a stick. We actually have it working now, and I think he just took it right off me. Okay, we still have it here, and let's see if we can score this. I don't know how to shoot. I'm just going to just take it right in. You don't even know how to shoot? There we go. How do you play this, Nat Leaf? I have no idea, man. I have not one clue in the world. We got another guy in the game. Exotic. Let's go, Exotic. You're on my team. Come on. Take him out. Uh-oh. He's got the puck. So we just got to keep him away if we... Oh, if we press this button, this is better. Let's see if we can pass it. Nice little pass to our teammate, Exotic. There he goes. He's going in on the net. He takes a shot. LT picks up the puck. And boom. There we go. Are you kidding me? Not enough gas, guys. Not enough gas on that one. What in the world was that? Could you believe I didn't score that? It stopped literally on the line. Exotic is taking it down to the crease. And it stops for him. He's not going to make it. He's going to walk it right in. Oh, he's going to steal it. Oh, uh, no. Nope. It's his gamer guy. It must be going by the real username, not their, like, display name. All right. Guys, get the blue team a shot here. Come on. Let the blue team get the puck. The blue... Their team doesn't even have a goalie. I don't know what happened. He's, he's just gone. I remember I hit him through the boards before. Here we go. Long shot. Slap shot. Boom. Oh, if you hold it in pretty hard, you actually do hit it, like, super, super hard. So here we go, guys. Exotic is going for the puck. He's taking it on net. He takes a shot. I don't know where he just... Oh, there we go. Exotic is popping off right now. He's the he's the MVP out here. He's, he's carrying. I'm going to fall back on some defense. If uh, you guys did play hockey, what position did you play? I used to play center back in the day. We just blocked that shot. We're going to take a slapper right here. Oh, who was that? Nat Leaf just blocked that one. Nice block, dude. We're going to take another slapper down the ice. And it looks like he just goes for the icing. Just kind of shoot the puck around the back of the, the net there. And uh, Exotic's going to pick it up. He takes a shot. Yo, Exotic is good at this game. Let's go, Exotic. I see you, man. We got uh, a lot of subs joining the game now. That's awesome, guys. I'm glad you're in here. You're going to find out later that this is for a video. And it's, uh, it's kind of funny. I, I actually play uh, the NHL game, like the actual NHL. And that game is super fun. Wow. What a shot from me right there. That's a disappointment. Oh, Wow, Natalie, good shot. Unfortunately, our goalie was there to save it. He's going to score this one. Oh, no, Exotic back on defense. Back checking here. What a play from Exotic. Uh-oh, LT's got to come out big here. Oh, Finleaf scored. Good job, Finleaf. There you go, man. First goal for the blue team. It's 1-5. to five. We got three minutes left. We might wrap this up here pretty soon, though, because, uh, you know, maybe we'll skip to the end, the last few seconds here, as long as, uh, you know, we got we to try our best to win this. We're trying to get a pass here from our teammate. Uh-oh, they keep stealing the puck off me. We got uh, Quiet going in for the goal. Is she going to make it? No, but she is going to get the puck. Wait, she might score. Oh, what a stop. What a stop from Finleaf there. Good play, my friend. Good play. Now, here we go. Havoc with the puck. Havoc. Oh, he misses it. LT comes in and steals the goal. I'm so sorry, Quiet. That was uh, just to avenge that one shot when I completely missed before. You remember that when it stopped on the goal line? Had to, had to make up for that. All right, whoever made this game, though, listen, it's not that bad. It's not. This is actually decent. This is straight up decent. I wish we could actually check for free without spending Robux, but hey, what are you going to do? Quiet's going in for the goal. Oh, if you guys hold shift. No, oh, maybe not. I was thinking maybe it went a little bit faster, but no, she missed again. I think you guys have to hold the button in a little bit longer, and then it actually works. All right, come on, blue team. Let's go. Give blue team a shot here. Should we, uh, should we let them play a 2v2 right now? We'll take a little uh, we'll watch it. I could I would play goalie if I could, but it doesn't actually let me. Can I change teams? No, I don't think I could, unfortunately. Let's see. Blue team? No, it doesn't let me. 
unfortunately, guys. I would change to the blue team to try to help you out a little bit, but uh, Havoc might get down there. See, if this was real hockey right now, I'd take Havoc into the corner and put him through the glass, but you can't do it in this game. That's unfortunate. That's all right. It's all right. Havoc's going in. Exotic with the steal. Finleaf going in net. What a save from Finleaf, dude. Play the game right there, man. That was beautiful. That was almost a goal right there, too. That was a good shot. What's wrong with our goalie? I don't even see your goalie. Havoc's wondering what's wrong. He's, his, his guy went through the glass before when LT put him through the window before. I'm so sorry, Quiet. Oh, there you go. You scored that one. Good job. Good job. There we go, guys. All right. I'll see you in the last few seconds of this game. All right. We'll uh, put on a little time lapse. We'll speed it up. We'll see what happens, and we'll see what the end score is going to be. You ready? I'm going to take a shot from the uh, middle of the ice. Boom. There we go. We actually hit that one. All right. Time lapse now. I'll see you in the last 10 seconds, okay? We'll see what happens at the end of the game. All right, guys. Well, we didn't have to get to the end of the game. I guess uh, 10 is the score limit. 10 is the score limit. We'll just uh, get a little GG in the chat. GG, guys. And uh, that's interesting. That's a pretty fun game. It's like a, a decent rank, well-made skates. Like, it, the game works. At first, I was wondering, like, what in the world? Why is the puck just floating in the middle of the ice? It doesn't even work. But uh, I, I'm sorry that you guys didn't have a goalie. I don't know why you guys got done dirty there. I don't know what happened. But uh, straight up, GG, guys. I'll uh, be tuning into the next one. I'm going to rate this one for honestly how good it is and for literally having zero players. This is like a seven and a half. Like, I kid you not, guys. This is a seven and a half. There's just a few things. I think they need to figure out how to add checking and maybe some other customization items without spending Robux. And this gets up there to like an eight or nine or maybe even a 10 if they add in a lot of different stuff. But with that being said, let's find one more game for this video and then uh, we'll wrap it up. And if you guys really like this style of video, you want me to find some other really weird random dead Roblox games, let me know. I'll gladly make a part two to this video. All right? So with that being said, let's find the next one. All right, guys. So for this last one, I have a pretty good idea. We're going to go ahead and we're going to type scary in the search bar here. And let's figure out what kind of weird scary games exist on Roblox. So here we go. We got some pretty creepy, like, you know, thumbnails for the games. But are they actually going to be scary or are they going to be completely broken? Who knows? Let's find out. Let's do this one right here. Very scary game. It's got four players, 2,000 votes, 1 million visits, though. That's actually pretty good. Let's see. Is it actually going to be a scary game? Who knows? We're going to click it. Of course, we're going to find out. So here we go. We just spawned in and hmm, we're in the middle of nowhere. It's just green, green grass, black sky, gray building. Very, very interesting. It says stay out. So you know when it says stay out, we're going to walk right out. Oh, way too loud. Way too loud. My ears. Oh, we're running this way. We are. Oh, no. Oh, now we fell off the map. This is a disaster. All right, let's see. We're going to turn it down slightly here, just to at least that, and let's see what happens if there's anything else going on in here. So, caution, do not enter, authorized personnel only. Let's go this way with this guy. He's scared by himself over here in the corner. Nope, nothing over here. Let's go this way. Can we keep going this way? Is it like a maze? Is that it? Is that straight up it? Or do we walk into the side? Okay, that's probably... Let's, let's walk into it one more time. Can we, like, completely move this thing? No, not really. One more time. That's it. That's all they got. That's the game, guys. That is the game. Can we do a little parkour here and get up to, like, the roof? No, I don't think so. Very, very interesting. All right. Well, that's a, a scary game that's got, like, zero players for the most part. A few extra people now, but pretty interesting, guys. Is there anything in the back? No, that's literally it, guys. That's the whole game. And it's got 1 million visits. Could you believe that? 1 million visits. Straight up. That's crazy. That is absolutely absurd. But, hey, what could you do? There's a lot of people joining now. These might be some of my subscribers. I'm not too sure. This dude's addicted to the noise right here. Junior Junior is just walking into the sign. Oh, boy. All right, guys, though. I'm going to run away because that dude keeps running into the sign. That's going to wrap up tonight's video. We're going to jump off the map, I guess. But... 
I think that this was a pretty interesting video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Hit that subscribe button so you see my future videos. And make sure you leave a comment letting me know if you want to see another like part two of this style video. It was pretty fun making. Just get to, you know, explore some random games here with zero players. And you never know what you're going to find. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. And if you want to watch another one for me, check out the one on your screen right now. And I'll see you on over there. Adios.